All right, YouTube, welcome back to another Apex Legends video. In this video, we are going to be ranking Apex Season 7 Legends from the S tier all the way down to the D tier. And if you guys want to make your own list, just head to the link above here. It'll be in the description below as well. If you want to make your own list, feel free. But before I started making my own list and when I first checked out this website, I saw something that said view community ranks. So I figured... Why not check it out? And when I clicked on it, okay, we scroll down and X out the weird ad. This list is horrible, horrendous list. So what I'm going to do in the first part of this video is go over why I believe these are in the wrong spots. And then in the second part of the video, I will make my own list so you can see exactly where I'd put the legends if it were me making this list. All right, so if we start down here on the D tier, now remind you, this is not my list. This is the community list, but they have Loba down in the D tier absolutely not loba is not down at the d tier with her new black market ability being able to grab as much ammo as you want for the entire team and grab two either weapons a weapon and attachment an armor a backpack no way loba is in d tier okay that's all i'm gonna say i'm not gonna ruin it when i put my own tier list together but she's not in d tier Rampart also I wouldn't say is in d tier she's not the best legend whatsoever but I definitely I wouldn't put her in D tier to be, I guess that one's not as bad. That one's not even nearly as bad as Loba. Okay. Loba was way worse of a decision in D tier than Rampart is, but I still think Rampart needs something else. She needs to be buffed a little bit more. So I guess I can see her in D tier, but that's not where I'm going to put her on my list. Bangalore in D tier. Come on, man. Bangalore in D tier. No, that, uh, no, her smokes are so viable. Her ultimate blows up in like 0.2 seconds when it hits the ground now, doing a ton more damage and shocking enemies forever. No way she's in D tier. Octane in D tier. I I don't think Octane's great by any means, but I would definitely not put Octane in D tier. He's a very fun legend to play, and based on that alone, I wouldn't put him in D tier. And Mirage in D tier. I think you can have some really good plays with Mirage. I think if you know exactly what you're doing with Mirage, you can pull off some, like I said, really sick plays. I don't think he's in D tier as well. Watson in C tier. So you're saying Watson's above all these legends? No. No. Watson does not belong in C tier. That's all I'm going to say right now. Crypto in B tier. I can see it. Personally, I don't think he's above some of these legends down here he might be viable for b tier though okay so we're gonna we're gonna say that's all right of a decision revenant that's all right of a decision as well i mean his totem's still really annoying but on the new map on olympus you can't really like hide the totem too well i mean you can but it's it can also be third party very easily so i would say i would say maybe for revenant at b tier pathfinder at b tier I would say this is good. I would say Pathfinder is either B tier or A tier. You'll see where I put him on my list, but I do believe that's a viable option in B tier to put Pathfinder here because of his grapple and because of his um, his zipline on the new map. It's a very big map, and they can he can get you around the map very quickly. Horizon in B tier, I would say this is a good spot for her. Um, her abilities are very cool, very fun, and if you know how to use them, like just like mirage you can pull off some really sick plays i do think there's a little more to her than there is mirage so i would say b tier is a good spot caustic at a tier i can agree with almost i can agree with all these legends at a tier i'm not gonna lie and i would put wraith not at s tier either i i don't think i don't think wraith is s tier okay her abilities her phase is not as good in the wide like you can phase on olympus right and you'll still be in the wide open for the most part after you get out of the phase unless you stick really close to building so that's why i think wraith isn't as usable or isn't s tier at least but she's still definitely a good character as for caustic got a new buff to his trap so i can see him definitely being at a tier gibby is super overpowered in this meta and on this map so i'm gonna put him i'd say that's good uh a tier lifeline super annoying with the reses i don't know if she's being used as much on olympus as she was on world's edge and king's canyon so i guess that's a fine point to have her on the a tier and bloodhound is just bloodhound definitely deserves to be either a tier or s tier because 
the scans come in so clutch and the ultimate ability oh my gosh it's like it's like having human wall hacks it's ridiculous i love bloodhound so we'll, i'd say that's fine all right guys we are now on the chart where i can make my own list i can fix all the mistakes that the community made what are they doing over there so many things were messed up i don't even know where they were going with it but I just want to point out that there is no F tier on this list. So there's no legends that are completely unusable. You can use whatever legend you want. And everybody's better with different legends than others. Okay. But in the D tier right now. Okay. And I have barely seen any of these in Season 7 of Apex Legends. Tell me if I'm wrong though. Watson is going in the D tier list of legends. And... There's a couple good reasons I have for this, okay? First off, the map is so big. There's a lot of open spaces, and Watson is not going to be used as well in open spaces, obviously, as in buildings. In buildings, she can lock down the doors. Every door can be fenced off, as well as putting her ultimate ability down, which can recharge your shields. I just don't see anybody using this anymore. Even in the wide open, when you're calling a Gibby Strike on somebody, I barely see anybody running Watson, and when they do run Watson... I don't even see them putting down their gen anymore i don't know what's going on in the community here but a lot of people aren't using watson and i feel like it's in part because this map is so big that's why we have watson over here at d tier also in the d tier we're gonna have to put rampart here i still feel like rampart isn't a great character whatsoever if her turret could spin 360 degrees if sheila could spin 360 degrees or could she could like rip the Sheila off the thing and start walking with it. The legend would be amazing. It would be it would go instantly to B tier or above. But the fact of the matter is that the Sheila cannot turn 360 degrees. Her walls still take a while to put up and they still get destroyed instantly on impact if someone shoots it before they're fully put up. So that's why I have a rampart over here in the D tier list of legends. Onto the C tier list. Okay, there's no more D tier. That's really the lowest tier there is other than f which is unplayable which we don't have any in okay onto the c tier list of legends we have octane first off going in there and the main reason is really his bounce pad isn't too phenomenal it doesn't blow my socks off it's just all right okay he's a fun legend to play don't get me wrong he's been a good legend to play in season seven and all the way back honestly forever that i can remember octane was always a super fun legend to play the only thing is he's not amazing he's not like i said he doesn't blow my socks off so we're just going to keep him at the c tier for now also at the c tier list of legends i know a lot of you guys are like why do you hate mirage so much i don't hate mirage i'm just not i'm not a great mirage player but that really doesn't have any say in why i think he's down this low all right his decoys are all right and the fact that they added more health to his decoys is good but it's not amazing kind of like octane his abilities are good but they're not amazing and also i wish every decoy and him went invisible on his ultimate ability so that's why i have him at the c tier list of legends once again not great but definitely not terrible and if you can use him correctly you have some great plays on your hands on to the b tier list of legends i think that's really only the only c tier list of legends that i have at the moment on to the b tier list I'm going to put crypto here and crypto is a very very good legend while using his drone you got his ultimate emp which is crucial and it's clutch if you pair it with other legends i just feel like there's too much open field for crypto on this map and i know that a lot of you guys are saying you got to get close and then you got to use it and stuff but if enemies run away crypto's just sitting in his drone right obviously you're losing a ton of ground but there's not as many buildings on this map as well Okay, there's a lot of open fields, like I've said, and although the map is bigger and there is a bigger service area, there's not as many, like, it's not all buildings, okay? If we go back to World's Edge, a lot of the map was buildings, there was a lot of cover, there was a lot of stuff like that. This map is totally different, it's a sniper's haven, it's a sniper's dream, okay? It's, you're using a scout, you're using a triple take, and a lot of the time... You're not going to be in building so when crypto's emp goes off all you have to do is really rotate back other than on world's edge or king's canyon you're kind of stuck in buildings at most points so there's that that's why i have him at the b tier list of legends also in the b tier list of legends 
why did they have loba at d tier okay loba is insanely clutch with all the ammo you can grab now for the entire team the only thing that i don't like a lot about loba is her bracelet her bracelet's not great it's not terrible but it's not great so that's why loba is at the b tier list of legends another b tier list legend we have here is going to be lifeline once again this map is very open lifeline can easily get caught out in the open and snipe g7 while some of these other characters for example loba can get away so i mean that's why i have lifeline at the b tier list of legends although she can res non-stop which i still think is a little op she has no movement in the wide open so that's why she's getting put in the b tier list of legends another one being added to this list is going to be horizon horizon is super fun to play and can be super clutch in getting high grounds okay the only reason that i feel like she's not pushed over the top yet is possibly because her movement abilities haven't been explored enough yet we haven't seen enough to where it can put her over the top in the a tier list of legends so that's why i'm going to keep her at b but she's definitely a viable option for pubs and even ranked if you're really good with her movements another b tier legend we have a revenant so they had that correct in the community post i believe once again this map is wide open i feel like there's not as many buildings so it's kind of tough to hide the revenant totem but the length of the totem is still unlimited okay you can still run wherever with the totem and it's super annoying if revenants pull up on you so that's why i'm going to put him at the b tier list here he's not quite as overpowered on this map as past maps and i've seen less and less revenants so that's another reason that i'm going to put him at the b tier here pathfinder b tier legend and this is because okay the hitbox got increased okay the hitbox is definitely worse than last season i can see myself getting melted a lot more the only reason that i have him up this high on the list is because the map is so big and he can get your team so many places that other legends can't okay it's also got that zip line there's so many locations that you might not even know about on olympus that you can make it to with the zip line so that's why i have him at b tier okay so right now we have the list set up from b tier all the way to d tier we're gonna move on to a tier and you might be shocked with this one but i think bangalore might be up in a tier now her smokes are amazing they were always amazing her smokes can do so many things for you i can't even list all the things and then we got the ultimate ability the rolling thunder practically explodes on impact now as soon as it hits the ground and it does do a lot of damage and also stuns enemies for a long period of time the only thing i don't like about bangalore and why she's not an s tier to be honest because it stuns your teammates for a long time still i wish they would fix that but she's definitely usable definitely viable in ranked or pubs that's why she is going to be an a tier legend here next up we're going to have wraith like i said in the beginning of the video when i was talking about the community ranks i don't think wraith is as viable as in previous seasons because there's not as many buildings you're gonna get stuck out in the open you can kind of see a trend here guys with the olympus map changing a lot of the legends for me in my opinion you can get caught out in the open very easily with wraith's phase so that's why i have her at a tier she's still very good at transporting teammates and moving teammates with the portal but not amazing caustic is also gonna fall into the a tier list of legends once again i've said this on like every legend there's not as many buildings it's a lot of open fields so if you get stuck out in the open with caustic it's gonna haunt you and you're gonna die but caustic did get a buff to the gas traps and i think they did that also because the map is so wide open that when you get in buildings you really need an advantage with caustic so that's why i have him at a tier as well s tier legends okay bloodhound is gonna be the first one the reasoning okay bloodhound scans are amazing the ultimate is going to put this one into the s tier list of legends the scans make it seem like you have wall hacks and you can run super super fast and this is why i have bloodhound in the s tier if you're in the wide open you can pop that ultimate ability and be gone with a bloodhound okay i know a lot of you guys are going to disagree with me in the comments down below but it's just a fact bloodhound is amazing on this map as well as gibby like i said i don't know how many times i have to repeat this when you're in the wide open gibby's freaking oh my god Gibby's bubble is going to come in clutch for the wide open. It's going to protect you for about, what is it, 10 to 15 seconds? I don't know how exactly long it is. 
but that's clutch along with his ultimate ability that's going to absolutely destroy enemies in final zones if you get an open zone come on gibby's got to be in the s tier so this is my list dislike it like it whatever you guys want to do i know there's going to be a lot of disagreements with this list and once again i'm saying this is my personal opinion it doesn't have to be everybody's opinion and i might be wrong i don't know i think this is what the tier list should look like comment down below what you think and like the video if you like dislike if you didn't and i will catch you in the next one peace out guys